they're one step ahead of, of law enforcement oftentimes and three steps ahead of parents. In 2019 alone, the National Center Missing Children's Cyber Tip Line received more than 16 million reports of child exploitation through the internet. And that number has only gone up since majority of students are now learning remotely online. We've seen chatter amongst the dark web of these predators talking about how this is a great time to try to exploit children. WMCT spoke with Callahan Walsh from the Center of Missing and Exploited Children. The center works hand in hand with authorities to catch repeat offenders like Philip Raymond of Marlboro. Raymond's long history of offenses were mostly committed online. And it wasn't until police seized his laptop that they learned this has been going on for a course of 10 years. Raymond's computer held encrypted evidence that proved Raymond was producing pornography involving more than a dozen minors over the course of 10 years. So how do you protect and educate your kids from ending up in a dangerous situation like this one? Download these apps, talk to their kids about what apps they're using, create a profile, just figure out the best you can how to use that tech. Second is to set ground rules and, and, and stick to them, especially if there's been bad behavior in the past. And number three is to have ongoing conversations with your kids about safety. Walsh recommends parents to use netsmartkids.org. This website is specifically designed to address important topics you may find hard to talk with your child about. Those resources include animated videos, uh, activity sheets, discussion guides for parents. Remember, toddlers, tweens, and teens all need different conversations about online safety. Stacy Sergisun, WMCT News.